In this video, I will show you how I use this photo to create this poster. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications if you want to learn more about Photoshop. So first thing what I did here was to get rid of the background with a pen tool. So I skipped that part because it's boring and you don't want to see that. After that, I tried to, to get rid of all these dirt in his face. So with a spot healing brush, I could get rid of this really easily. After that, I added some curves to this because this photo is really light and you don't want to see all that lightness here. I also made some eyes here as you can see and after that I tried to adjust the curves again to get some areas lighter and some darker. I made the area around this eyes even darker so you won't see the original, original stuff around this eyes and this mask looks a little bit off here so I changed that. After that I imported the background that I wanted to use. This was just for reference, I wasn't sure if I was going to use this but just wanted to make sure how it looked with something blue in the background. So I make sure this stuff was all blue. After that I started with getting some more highlights here. So I want to make sure this symbol in his, on his chest is really good visible because that's, that's really cool in this new suit. I want to make sure that it was visible in this poster. After that I started to make some areas darker and lighter. So with the burn tool I can make areas darker like here and other areas lighter. So I also made these rim lights with a with dodge tool. After that I started to make some more rim lights. I wanted to make sure that the rim lights were everywhere visible around him. So first I make like this little line around this whole Batman and when I was done with it I could get rid of some parts so first thing to do is to make sure they're everywhere around them after that you can get rid of some parts so you don't want to see them everywhere if you see them everywhere it's gonna look cheap so do them slightly and see how it looks and you can change blend mode to screen as I did here so as you can see here I got rid of some of these rim lights I don't really like using them a lot, so I try to use them a little bit. Now I want to make sure I have some some glow in his eyes. It's really easy to make these eyes look funny, so it was kind of challenging to make sure it looked right. So that's what I did without recording. I made sure these eyes were okay. After that, I started recording it. Now I want to make sure I have some more light effects here. So. With a normal brush, I could just create some sort of light things around him and move them around, place them behind them until I got something that I like. So this is really easy to do. You don't have to download brushes. You can do that with a normal brush in Photoshop. And now we can make some areas lighter and darker again. So most of the time here was to spend on lighting. When you get this cool lighting, you can create something cool. And now we can add some more colors to it so here I moved the background around because it felt like it was a little bit empty so I want to make sure I have set the cool in the background and the his face here under the mask was slightly dark so I made sure that was a little bit more visible his mouth looks a little bit funny but I don't have another photo so I had to do it with this one now we have some background lighting there so I want to make sure we got some nice reflections on his suit from that so what I did here was make sure I have some little bit of rim light here from there and on the other side we got some nice blue color coming from the background and as you can see here I'm still doing the rim lights and getting these eyes right because when these eyes are not in the right place they look really funny now I can make some more lights, so what I did here was try to get some more lights in it and change here the gradient maps. I added some gradient maps to make sure all these colors are good and when I add the gradient map I can make like one color for everything. So when you use gradient maps you can blend everything better together with colors. Now I added some little light effects in the background to make this even cooler. So after that I added the gradient fill to make sure 
he was in the center of attention and not the other stuff around him. So with this one, I can make sure he's like lighting up and other stuff is darker. And here I try to make some parts lighter again because we have some more lights and I want to have some more ref reflections now. After that, I continued with this one. Get some more light here somewhere around him to make sure it's not too dark, but still dark enough. When I was done with that composition, I just import this into into Lightroom and with Lightroom I can add some presets. I have a couple of presets that I always use. If you want to get these, you can check the link in the description. And you can use these for photos or for digital art. So what I did here was I added some presets to get some cooler colors and even cooler lighting. So as you can see, I made like three three presets from Lightroom and import them into Photoshop again and change the opacity of it and that's it. And that's how I make this even better. After that I started with brushing again to make sure some areas are lighter and darker and we get some nice highlights here now. Now it was time to add some font to it, some letters to make sure the text was underneath him on his chest. So I wasn't sure which font they are going to use in the, in the new Batman, so I just picked something there that I liked. Now after that I tried to add his name also in it, but I think I didn't like how his name looked there, so I tried it with this font after that I changed the font, but I think it looks better without his name. Not that I'm another fan of him, but I think it looks better when it's like clean instead of a lot of bunch of things in it. So I tried to add his name, but it didn't look okay, so I got rid of it again. And I want to make sure it looked like an official poster, so I added like these text things that you have in posters. Did some color adjustments at the end. I forgot to tell that I also added uh, some sort of cartoon effect action from, I think I got it from Graphic River, but I slightly changed it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you liked it. See you in the next video.